Welcome back to the Belted Galloway Homestead. I wanted to discuss another layer of fly protection uh, here on the homestead. Uh, we take fly protection pretty serious because uh, uh, we don't want them to to uh, bother the cattle, bother the belties, and, and also bother us. Uh, the the layer I'm talking about today is uh, nuisance flies. So your house flies, your blow flies, uh, those green uh, bottle flies, uh, the flies that are attracted to stinky stuff, dead animals uh, that uh, leave uh, maggots and, and such. Um, not necessarily bite, but they can definitely cause problems with the belties, landing on their eyes, landing on their um, their mouth, now looking for moisture in that. So here's some... Um, some fly catchers that we've been using uh, for the, over the over the years have been working very well. Uh, only problem is that they can get full, and uh, you got to swap them out. But they're uh, pretty convenient. You um, fill it up to water, fill it up with water to this uh, to this dotted line, and you cut the top of it out around here. Then this pulls out, and you smash up these these little packets. Now this brand is uh more expensive than some of the others uh the bag is larger uh they call it the giant size but you know you can see how big it is i don't know if i call it giant but uh um you know it's, it's one of the bigger ones but it also has the two bags of attractant in it where some others only have the one bag of attractant and then you uh i put a, a zip tie in here you can also put a, a little piece of metal hook and you hang these up and this opens up. Here's the top of one that I cut out from one last year because I had plans of, of uh, expanding this type of catcher and, and making it larger. So um, I basically just cut the, the plastic bag off of it. And uh, here it is. Here's that zip tie I was talking about. These pull up to allow the flies to get in. So these pull up, it claps down for shipping and probably to keep the flies in when you go to throw it away because they are disposable. Um, after it fills up with flies, it kind of dries out, fills up, and then you just throw them away and hang another one up. Um, last year they were $5, this year they're eight. So everything's going up in price over the situations, but uh, I was wanted to try something this year, something I've been thinking about for a while, so I'm going to give it a shot here, and uh, I'm going to show you and take you through it. So to expand the um, fly catching ability of this um, nuisance flies that uh, that use the attractant, I uh, I saved a five gallon bucket. It's probably actually uh, like a seven gallon bucket. It seems to be a little taller, but I saved this bucket. Um. To use for this idea and what I what I want to do is take the lid off here and I want to take that fly catcher that I took out of that bag and I want to install it in this uh, in this lid maybe silicone it in and then also you can buy these baits so it's uh just fly bait, same stuff that comes in this, these, uh, these other uh, packages here, but you just get the, um, you just get the, the attractant, the bait, and then put that in the uh, bottom of the bucket and mix in some water, set it out. I'm thinking this black bucket, being in the sun, uh, will get warm, uh, get this uh, cooking. And uh, stinking pretty good and attract a lot of flies. And then I can reuse it. I can, I can empty this out and rebait it and use it over again. And then I'm not, I'm not um, you know, throwing away an $8 fly trap every time it's full this year. Not sure uh, how well you can see it, but I've taken and traced the line uh, in the top of this bucket. I'm going to cut the hole a little smaller than that. There's a lip right here on the edge and I'm going to cut that and pop that in there and then like I said I may even put a little bit of silicone around there when I'm done. So I'm going to take and cut this out so I can pop that in and make a five gallon bucket fly catcher. 
So I was able to take this knife and able to cut the hole in the, in the lid. And I'm gonna do a test fit and then I'm gonna take and uh, trim around where it's needed very carefully until I get a good fit for this fly trap top to go in there. I'll be back. Well, I think this would just about do it. Very nice. I might not even need caulking. Very good fit. All right, let's take a look at this. So this is the lid of the uh, the five gallon bucket. It looks pretty good. This is how it would hang if it was the bag. Flies crawl down into there. Come through those three passageways. And then they can't find their way back out. They go around to the outside. Now the bag is clear. And they're going to be attracted to the light. So it's going to be interesting to see how this, how this works. Because you can see some light there um, on this. So I'm going to find out if I end up losing the flies that I catch. Or if they're going to go down there and uh, get into that, that bait. And, uh, and drowned. Um, but we'll find out. I can just set this bucket anywhere with this popped up with the bait in it and attract the flies and end up attracting gallons of, of, uh, of flies. So I might end up putting two of these to start off. Looks like there's three packets. So maybe I'll do three. And I think once you get this working with uh, some dead flies in there, uh, you can also probably put in some rotten meat, rotten hamburger, um, something else that would that would that would uh, you know just create that odor that's going to attract the flies, and then uh, use it over and over again. Of course, when you're downwind from something like this, it can be quite unpleasant with the uh, the smell. But, uh, but boy, they, uh, they work and uh, attract a lot of flies and uh, prevent a lot of, I guess, diseases from being uh, spread around with these flies. So I'm going to put this together and I'll get it working. And then I may follow up with a, with a uh, video in a few months after it's been uh, working to show, show how successful it is or how non-successful it is. Uh, if you got any ideas on how to improve this, if you've done something similar, uh, if you know the, the light, with it being a dark bucket, it's going to be an issue, you know, please let me know. Drop some comments and uh, give me your ideas.